If you're a diehard S Pen fan, this might be your last real chance to enjoy it built into a Samsung flagship. The Galaxy S26 Ultra could mark the end of an era because big changes are coming and not everyone is going to like them. According to a new rumor from Panda Flash Pro, Samsung might be planning to remove the built-in S Pen from its Ultra models, starting right after the Galaxy S26 Ultra. That means the S27 Ultra and future flagships may no longer feature the iconic stylus embedded in the phone. Now, this rumor doesn't come out of nowhere. It actually follows a clear trend. With the Galaxy S25 Ultra, Samsung already began downgrading the S Pen removing Bluetooth functionality. That move quietly killed off popular features like air actions, gesture controls, and even remote use. No more flicking through slides or snapping photos with a flick of your wrist. For power users, that change felt like a big step back, and it looks like Samsung isn't stopping there. The good news? If you're planning to get the Galaxy S26 Ultra, it looks like you'll still get the full experience, with the stylus built right in, silo and all. But beyond that, it's murky. The future of the S Pen as a built-in tool is uncertain. Remember the Galaxy S21 Ultra? It supported the S Pen, but didn't have a built-in slot to store it. You had to carry it separately or use a special case. Samsung might be heading back to that strategy, turning the S Pen into an external accessory. Optional, but not truly integrated. It's wild to think how we got here. For years, the S Pen was a signature part of the Galaxy Note series. But Samsung retired the Note line after the Note 20 series in 2020 and shifted its focus toward foldables and the S Ultra lineup. Since then, the S Pen has become a staple of the Ultra experience, blending productivity with premium design. Interestingly, Samsung isn't fully confirming any changes just yet. In fact, last month, Annika Bizon, Samsung's VP of Mobile Experience in the UK, spoke with TechRadar and shared that the S Pen still plays a vital role in their product ecosystem. She said, multimodal is really important to us. So that's how people use their phone, whether they're speaking, whether they're writing, whether they're in a meeting. People do use their S Pens in meetings to write notes. So I don't see a space where the S Pen is not a key part of our portfolio. She even emphasized how passionate Samsung users are about this feature, saying people still ask, will it have an S Pen? A question that traces all the way back to the Note era. So what's really going on here? Is Samsung testing the waters to move away from the S Pen to make more room inside the phone? Maybe for better cameras, battery, or cooling systems? Or are they trying to push users toward a foldable future where stylus support remains, but as an external option? If the Galaxy S26 Ultra ends up being the last model with a built-in stylus, it'll mark a major shift not just for Samsung, but for users who rely on the S Pen every day. What do you think? Should Samsung keep the S Pen built into the Ultra? Or is it time to let it go and move on? Drop your thoughts in the comments. I want to know how many of you actually use the S Pen and whether this change would push you to switch brands or just adapt. If you found this breakdown helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell so you don't miss what's coming next. Because if the S Pen is on its way out, we're going to cover what's replacing it and whether it's actually better. Want me to polish this even further for a voiceover read or add a more dramatic tone for YouTube delivery? Imagine this, a smartphone with a massive 7,000 milliamp hour battery lasting days on a single charge. Sounds like a dream, right? Well, that's exactly what Samsung fans were hoping for with the Galaxy S26 Ultra. But guess what? The dream might be over. A new leak has just dropped and it's shattering expectations. Stick around because this is a story of hope, disappointment, and a surprising twist you won't see coming. Earlier this week, the internet was buzzing with rumors that Samsung was planning something huge for the Galaxy S26 Ultra. Reports claimed that Samsung would use a groundbreaking silicon carbon battery technology to pack a jaw-dropping 6,000 to 7,000 million hour battery into their 2026 flagship. Fans were ecstatic. I mean, who wouldn't want a phone that could last forever? But here's the thing. When something sounds too good to be true, it usually is. Enter at at Panda Flash Pro on X, the leaker who just dropped a bombshell. According to them, the Galaxy S26 Ultra's battery won't even come close to 7,000 mAh. Instead, it's expected to have a maximum capacity of 5,500 mAh, 
with a rated capacity of 5,396 milliamp hours. That's a huge difference from the original rumors. For Samsung fans, it's like waking up from a dream to find out you've been hitting the snooze button for too long. But before you start feeling too disappointed, let's put things into perspective. A 5500 mAh battery is still a respectable 10% larger than the Galaxy S25 Ultra's battery. And let's not forget, Samsung's current flagship already outperforms many rivals with larger batteries. So even with this downgraded capacity, the Galaxy S26 Ultra could still dominate the battery life charts. Now, let's talk about the other exciting features we've heard about so far. The Galaxy S26 Ultra is rumored to feature a next-gen Qualcomm Snapdragon chipset, likely the successor to the Snapdragon 8 Elite. Its display is expected to be brighter and more efficient than ever, and it might even include an under-display camera for a truly seamless look. Oh, and the camera setup? It's getting a massive upgrade too, with a 200 megapixel periscope sensor replacing the current 50 megapixel unit. So, while the 7,000 milliamp hour battery dream might be over, the Galaxy S26 Ultra is still shaping up to be a powerhouse. With a larger battery, a cutting edge processor, and a revolutionary camera system, it's clear that Samsung isn't holding back. What do you think about these leaks? Are you still excited for the Galaxy S26 Ultra? Or is the battery news a deal breaker for you? Let us know in the comments below. Text on screen, stay tuned for more updates. Hopeful tone, forget to like, share, and subscribe for the latest tech news and updates. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.